everybody, this is John Lindsay with Arkansippi Smoke Live. I've got a good friend, it's called The Burger Chef down in Hot Springs, Arkansas, at one of the most famous restaurants there. Uh, the Ohio Club, it's one of the oldest restaurants and they're famous all across the nation for their awesome burgers there. Michael, my friend, who's a world food competitor and a state cook-off judge, started out washing dishes and then all the way to general manager. I'm proud of Michael and we're also proud of those burgers that he puts out down there. We want to try to help you today to recreate a really, really good burger right in your backyard when you're on a quick timeline, just home from work, something really good using the Arkansippi Combo. I want to show you what we're going to do today. So one of our best friends at home is this little LEM model, Burger Press. You can get these online anywhere. And we're going to be using this great 80-20 uh, ground beef. You can get it at the grocery store, of course, and have the 80-20 blend. That's what we really like. does a great job. And then we've also took a uh, cutting board and cut in half so we don't make such a big mess here. So what we like to do with this little burger press, we'll open it up and I've already got the squares of uh, wax paper down here and I get a good handful of meat. Pretty much want to keep that as loose as I can without putting it together. I don't weigh it, but I've done so much of this, I pretty much know what the weight is on this. Put it in the press, top and bottom with wax paper. Bring out your burgers, flip them out on your sheet, ready to go. Now that I got these burgers patted out, it made just about five really good burgers, about a third of a pound, really looking good. All of them's pretty uniform. I kind of patted them out just a little bit more like this. They're gonna shrink up being the 80-20 just a little bit. But here's what I'm gonna season with today. We're gonna use a little Hotty Toddy Climax out of the Arkansippi Combo. And then I have combined a combination in one shaker of the big red beef and the uh, all queued up steak shake. Uh, normally don't combine them, but for burgers, I kind of like to do that. Uh, and it's a really good combination on burgers. So we're going to take our hotty toddy climax. First of all, we'll spray them down just a little bit, get a little bit of canola oil on the outside, get a little moisture there. We'll bring the climax and just layer. The Arkansippi Combo is all about layering flavors. You take balanced rubs, you can layer the flavors and get anything you want out of them. And so we're going to let this Climax set just a minute. Kind of patty it on in here. Climax is good stuff. It's a great rub. And then we're going to go ahead and put our second rub on. Steak shake, big red beef combined. You can see what it's looking like. It's gonna be a really good looking burger. So that's what we got. Now, we're gonna flip these burgers over, season the other side, and then we're gonna show you what we're gonna to do to get them out on the grill. Most of you, when you get home from work, you don't wanna fire a bunch of charcoal up and get it started and then cook and do all you have to do. Now me, I love that, and as everybody knows, I'm a Hasty Bake Pro Staffer, so anytime I can, I'm cooking on my Hasty Bake Grill, all competitions, anytime I can cook on it, I love the Hasty Bakes, but we know that not everybody has a Hasty Bake, but you know what's popular right now is these pellet grills that's come out, and they're awesome. I've actually got one in my backyard, and we're going to cook these burgers on a pellet grill tonight, show you how to get the right temperature out there and how to get them done. They're going to be great. We'll show Folks, I'm out here at the pellet grill and we're fixing to load it up with these uh, Arkansippi combo burgers. And we're going to show you kind of how we cook these. Now the secret to these, I think a lot of folks want to go a little lower. I like 400 degrees on a pellet grill. I think it does a good job. You're not going to get quite as much smoke, which we don't want that much smoke out of this. This is grilling on a pellet grill, 400 degrees. It's going to take 20, 25 minutes to cook them, but they're going to be good. So we're going to go ahead put it on, let's show you what we're going to do. Just going to take our canola oil and spray it down. Burgers are ready. Just going to set them on and get them rolling. Arkansippi Combo, inspired by the Ohio Club. Going to be an awesome burger. We're going to put these little babies to bed and put them to rest. We're going to check them in about 10 minutes on that bottom side. Take a look and see how they're cooking. Let's keep flipping them till we get them done. We'll show you how to temp them in just a minute. Mm -hmm. 
Folks, we're going to tint these with our thermopin here. I'm going to bet they're about 145, 150 degrees. Let's see where they're coming. There's 145, 146. Can't hard do it, but that's about 152, 150. Time to put the good ingredients on this thing and make them right. A little hotty toddy barbecue sauce makes everything good. We lay this down right on top of them. Actually, I like to do it before I put the cheese. This stuff's in high demand. Mr. Ronald Burns has got a hit on his hands. Hotty toddy sauce. We're going to put that down there. Then we're going to put our cheddar cheese on, just on top. Let it finish up melting right on. Man, these are already looking really good. So you got a combination of all that Arkansippi flavor. Everything's layered from the sauce. You'll give these just another minute. We'll bring you back, show you what we got. So these Folks, the burgers are ready and they're smelling and looking good. You can kind of see what we've got here. We're kind of calling these the Arkansippi combo burgers. I mean, they are just looking good. Now, if you were wanting to go to the Ohio Club and see our friend Michael down there, you're going to be able to get what we call the Southwest Burger, the Ohio Burger. All of those are dressed out and they're as good as they come. But we're going to make kind of an old fashioned burger tonight. They've actually got one of those on the menu too. And uh, it's just going to be simple, kind of like the way we like things. Now I'll tell you what we've done. We put together a little garlic mayonnaise, garlic aioli style. This has two tablespoons of mayonnaise in it, has a teaspoon of Big Jim Hudgens steak rub in it, got a half a teaspoon of steak shake and a half a teaspoon of Climax right here. Arkansippi all the way. We're going to take this and dress our burger bun with it. Boy, it's got a little bit of roasted garlic. I forgot to tell you about that too that's in here. Really looks good. A little bit of onion here on top. Diced onion. And I'm going to tell you something. This thing is ready to go. You can take a look at it and let's see what we're working with here. There you go, folks. This thing is what we call Arkansippi through and through. One of those best backyard burgers you can get. It's been my pleasure to show you this. This is the way we like to do burgers at home. May come in at night, tired, can't fire up a charcoal grill, it's okay. Get your pellet grill out, you can still have burgers like this. And I'm fixing to dig in. We'll see you next time on Arkansippi Smoke Live. We appreciate it.